Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Um, joined by Chris. Evening. Um, this is, would you believe it, the third take of this beer review. I do apologise. My battery went flat. Chris's camera ran out of memory. So this is the third take. We've already opened the beers. I do apologise. It does look nice though. I like to pour the beer. This is Mujati Brewing Company's Hop Juice. It is coming in. It's a double IPA, 9.4% and it's 80 IBUs. Mm. Which is high. Which is lovely and high. We've already had a sneak peek of this mm. from with the last camera and then it just outed on us. And the reason we've gone for such a big IPU is, is because we've just had an Indian from down the road. A nice Indian. We thought we'd want to finish the night off with something strong, mm. full of flavour that's going to cut through that Indian food and well just finish our night off on a good note yeah um so the beer in color dark amber kind of with a haze lovely looking lovely looking beer nice head when we originally poured the beer nice head the head stayed nicely let's get a nose it's all hop in it there's, there's no there's no unpleasant kind of after, no. after nose, there's no rubber in this. There's no, no, absolutely not. I'm getting fresh lemons. Yeah. Getting fresh lemons in there, freshly sliced lemons. And, and limes and tropical fruits and all manner of stuff. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It smells it's, absolutely tropical. It's a veritable fruit salad of hop. Yeah. yeah, plenty of stone fruits in there. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Mm. It is a windy day. Gross. Windy, windy day. Okay, let's give it a taste. Mm. <laughs> There's hops in. Taking me sideways. It's like a really... It's a plummy, really good... Yeah. Really, a really sharp plum, almost. Do you get that? It is absolutely, absolutely spot on with that plum flavour, right on the finish. Mm. It's got a fantastic mouthfeel to the beer. It's really kind of like syrupy and mm. full of flavour. There's the tropical fruits in the flavour. There's fresh cut lemons. It's 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 juicy, fleshy orange. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you name the fruit. It's in there. It's eighty IBUs, and, and, uh, and it's not harsh. It's not harsh in the mouthfeel. You don't get the alcohol burn. No. You know, it's, no, it, it just it just wolfs back, you know, and it's like um. Do you know the difference between a, a fruit juice and a nectar? Is that the, the nectar has a higher kind of uh, uh, content of the uh, the skin and the, the pith and everything. Right. Okay. So the, you know you have a fruit juice and that's quite thin to drink, but you have nectar, and you get these more commonly in places like Aldi and Lidl's and places like that. Yeah. They're a bit thicker in the taste and a bit thicker in the mouthfeel. Mm. This has that about it. It it's does. Thick, but not. Um, sharp. No. At the same time, it, it doesn't. It doesn't make you feel like you're drinking a syrupy drink. No. No. Um, I think. Bear in mind that this this guy, Mr. Mujati, is a home brewer. Um, the wives have said, um, "I've drunk his cider, which you know I'm not a cider fan, but it was it wasn't bad at all." I drank the, Am the Camarillo, which is absolutely phenomenal. Once this guy's rugby career is over as a full-time rugby player, there is no doubt in my mind that I think that this guy should just go hell for leather into a brewery, open up a brewery, mm. produce beer like this that people will want to buy. He's going to be one of the big boys. He probably already is. He, this, <laughs> this, 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 for me, I've had far worse, far, far worse IPAs and double IPAs yeah. from the so-called big boys. Far worse. And they're trying to, they, they try desperately to make it um, massively hopped and they all end up with this that burnt rubber taste. It's that burnt astringency, that burnt rubber taste mm. when they go, I think it's when they go overboard on the hops. Yeah, easily done. Easily done. With this... There's none of that burnt rubber flavour. All you're getting is, is what you want from the drink, and that is the tropical fruit flavours, the stone fruits, the the cut lemon, mm. the juicy, fleshy orange flavours. 
there's no doubt in my mind that, that this guy really should he should just get on get on with it and make yeah. a start. Sort the rugby. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. Make beer for us. For yeah. people like us who really do appreciate what you're doing. Um Okay. I just want to show you the condition on the glass. I just want to show you the condition on the beer. It looks absolutely wonderful. Chris, if you could give a a final thought um, and a rating, yeah. please. For me, I, mean, I was looking forward to this all, all day, really. I mean, we'd agreed earlier that we'd have an India. Um, we've had that. We had four, five, six dishes between us. Yeah. Um, we've knocked those brown between us, a bit of spiciness, a bit, you know, bit of everything, really. But you know, spiciness being the, the main key in there, I think, yeah. for most of the dishes. I was looking forward to this because I knew, I knew that we had this little 3.30 of, of goodness to look forward to. Um, because... I knew that this would work its way through all of those flavours. All of those strong flavours work its way past them. It has. And just say, hello, I'm Mr. Hop. Yeah. yeah. And, and I can do all these things for you. And if we'd have had... If you could have gone with a common or dinner garden ale, you know, and said, uh, OK, there you go, there's another beer. And you go, oh, OK. Oh, we're don't really now. want that. I'm bloated. I don't want any fizz, yeah. um, any carbonation. But this, this is... Just the ticket. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. For, if if I'm rating it purely on scenario, post big Indian meal, I've got to go with well, something quite high really, and I'd have to go with a nine. Okay. For, uh, a three thirty for the rest of the evening after this would have done me for the rest of the night. Just for now, because I've got to walk home after this. Um, yeah, a nine. Yeah, this is great. What would you have given it if you didn't have the Indian? Um, if it was uh, a different scenario, would you give it such a such a high rating? If a, if it's somebody just slipped me this in the middle of the day, I'd probably have gone with an eight and a half because a nine point four percent beer isn't isn't my my ideal. But for the eighty IBUs, I've never met, I've never come across anything so balanced. So it's, even so, I wouldn't have yeah. gone much lower. I don't think mm. it's it's very good, and. I think this beer, like like Chris touched on, I don't want to touch on what Chris has said too much, but it's an ideal beer to go. Let's share this. I'm going to shake your hand. You're going to now go and do what you want to do. You're going to go home and, and put your kids to bed. I'm going to do the same. Um, we've had a lovely day. This has crowned the day off. Um, this, this is the type of beer you'd want to do it with. Absolutely. So for me, one last taste then. It's so smooth, it is so balanced, mm. it is so full of flavours, which I mentioned earlier in the review. Um, for me, yeah, I'm going to join Chris on a 9 out of 10. I think this is wonderful, wonderful beer. Yeah. And Mr. Mujahdi, stop playing rugby. Stop playing rugby it's right rough. now. It's rough, it's a rough boys game. <laughs> Go and make this full time. Um, thanks for Chris for joining me. Put your comments in the comments box. Uh, Real Alien 140. Um, Real subscribe to me, Mr. Real Alien <laughs> Guide, if you like. Um, but thanks for watching and cheers.